everyone, I'm Laura Staples here for virtualsheetmusic.com. In today's video, I'd like to show you how to get from rest position into a nice, confident, professional looking playing position. Okay, so we start in rest position, which also happens to be a great position to take a bow from. So if you're playing a recital, you'll want to take this position before you bow to your audience. Okay, rest position is where the violin is more or less resting on the hip and your arm is draped over with the bridge being nestled in the crook of your arm. That protects the bridge and it keeps your strings from getting mushed out of tune. <laughs> okay, and your wrist is um, hooked in this little C bout here. It's a very, very secure position to hold your violin. It's not going to get bumped or damaged and you're not going to drop it. Okay, so you're facing your audience, your belly button, your feet, and your nose are facing the audience. Your feet will be together, more or less like this, in sort of a formal stance. Okay, after you take your bow, then I want you to take your left hand and your left foot. Your left foot is going to take a little baby step so that now it looks like this. Some people like to put it like this. The basic rule is you want your feet about shoulder width apart so that you have the ability to shift your weight back and forth from left foot to right foot and you do not need to feel like your feet are glued in place. Okay. I like to start with my left foot out front and then after that I don't worry about it. So get your feet in place, then take your left hand and grab the violin like this. I want your fingers up on the fingerboard, heel of the hand is up near the ribs, and the thumb is behind the violin in a nice secure grip. Now there's a reason I'm so specific about this, and that is because a lot of people naturally grab the neck of their violin like it's a handle. There's two reasons you do not want to do that. The first reason is because after thousands of times of doing that, it can loosen your neck and actually dislodge it from the violin. Okay, the other reason is because we don't have the flexibility when we uh, grab by the neck to get the violin in the position we need it in. So the violin lands in some pretty awkward places. Okay, so if you grab it right here, like I showed you, thumb back here, you're going to be able to get it in that position. Some people teach to hold the violin by the shoulder so that you're touching the varnish. I do not like to do that because, especially if you've got sweaty hands, it will leave permanent damage on your varnish. And this way works just as well. So train yourself to just do it like this. Once you've got a good grasp of your violin, release it with your right arm and put your violin out front. Okay, now you're going to rotate it off to the left so that your belly button is still facing your audience, but now your left foot, your nose, and your violin are facing off to the left. Okay, turn your violin upside down and back it up slowly, keeping your eyes on the button. The button is going to back up until it touches that muscle on your neck kind of near the jugular vein, and then go ahead and wiggle it around and get it seated so that it's nice and securely planted against your neck and your shoulder is seated right in that little groove of your shoulder rest, if you use a shoulder rest. Okay, then you lower your head so that the head weight naturally balances the weight of the violin. You should not have to raise your shoulder, you shouldn't have to squeeze your neck, with the shoulder rest, it acts like a fulcrum and your violin becomes a teeter-totter. And the weight of your head easily counterbalances the weight of the scroll and the violin so that you're perfectly relaxed and your left hand is free to do its thing. Okay, so after you're finished playing, you do everything in reverse. Take your hand up to the ribs, grab the violin, release it with your head, take it down, rotate to the front, 
and back it up into the garage or into resting position. While you're doing that, your feet will also return to your nice formal bowing stance. Okay, now this is pretty robotic and, and broken up into steps, but as you do it lots of times, it becomes a very fluid motion. Okay, but it's just easier to think of it in separate steps. Now, Virtual Sheet Music actually has a wonderful violin book. It's called Basics of Violin Playing, and this is covered in that book. It's got photographs explaining every step of how to get the violin from rest position into playing position, but it doesn't stop there. This book covers everything a beginner would need to know, clear up into very advanced stuff like all the different bow strokes that advanced players use, um, scales, positions, first, second, third position, and on up. Um, so it's a really good reference book. It's a quick reference, but it's also a thorough, thorough book. All right, that's it for today's lesson. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or comments or suggestions, feel free to post them here, and I will answer them all personally. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.